Wow. Never in my wildest dreams did I believe that we would see the Federal Reserve making official statements about XRP and digital currencies. Yet here we are. We're going to tell you what this statement was and what it means for not only cryptocurrencies, but specifically for XRP. Hey guys, welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things Bitcoin and cryptocurrency related. Today, whether you're an XRP lover or an XRP hater, you're definitely going to want to watch this video to find out exactly what the Federal Reserve said about XRP and digital currencies. So we're going to be getting our story today from bitboycrypto.com. You guys can check out this story there along with tons of other stories about the crypto world. We're writing some unique articles there you're probably going to want to check out. So, okay guys, what happened? What is Fed now? What did the Federal Reserve say? Well, we are going to tell you. So Fed now is basically the Federal Reserve's uh, new payment settlement project they're working on is not going to be out for three more years but the plan here is to make cross-border settlement just kind of like xrp does but really even in-house settlement in the domestically in the united states to make it easier because right now it takes too long to uh, settle payments and settle transactions but with a 24 7 digital payment processor then at that point it'll make things a lot easier for the federal reserve to make sure all transactions are getting settled. So they said, like I mentioned, it's not going to be out for three more years, but they had a webinar just yesterday and there was a statement that was made that we are going to talk about. I'm going to show you the quote, then we're going to play the entire thing for you. So here we go, guys. Federal Reserve has made a FedNow XRP statement. Uh, so in August, the Federal Reserve announced its plans to create a 24-7 digital payment system fed now a lot of people in the xrp community believe this was a slam dunk for them believe that they were going to be able to get uh, the federal reserve the u.s government to work with ripple labs to work with brad garlinghouse and make this an absolutely huge partnership it's going to send ripple to <laughs> send xrp excuse me uh that said it was going to send it to you know who knows how high maybe finally get to the 589 number i saw someone the other day on twitter literally say he thought that XRP could go to 5 million per coin. If you're in the XRP community, it's not going to 5 million per coin. That's impossible. There's not enough money in the world to make that happen. So maybe if aliens come, maybe if aliens come from, from outer space, uh, that'll happen. But unless that happens, there's just not enough money in the world. So here we go. They had a 90 minute webinar to kind of talk about their payment, uh, you know, their payment processing uh, plans for Fed now, along with several other things, the timeline, the house settlements are actually going to work. And there was a question regarding if the Federal Reserve was going to specifically institute XRP. So here was the statement. And if you're an XRP lover, you may not want to hear this. Uh, they said Fed now transitions will settle to Federal Reserve master accounts in U.S. dollars. At this time, there isn't a contemplation of using other types of currencies. Now, if you believed that uh, the Federal Reserve, by coming out with this Fed now, was going to want to work hand in hand with cryptocurrency, not just with XRP, this rebuffs that statement. Basically, what it says here is U.S. dollar only. So I, I guess that kind of shows you what they think about the U.S. dollar. It's not going to collapse anytime soon, like people would have you to believe if you watch all kinds of YouTube videos. I don't believe it's going to collapse soon. I believe that at some point it will collapse. But even if it doesn't, the value goes down every single year. I mean, just think about it. Like, what could you buy for a dollar a few years ago? I think of a Coke, right? You could go to a Coke machine, a vending machine, you could put a dollar in, you get a Coke. Now it's like a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy-five, two dollars. That right there just shows you the devaluing of the US dollar, but the Federal Reserve is still pretty confident in it. So the person that made this statement was the uh, Connie Thien. She's the vice president at the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago and also the director of payments industry relations for the Federal Reserve System at large. Now, what I want to do right now is I'm going to play you the entire 
clip where from the webinar where they are talking about XRP. Thank you to Jana One Trick is the YouTube channel that put this out. And the person who asked the question is actually on Twitter. He is at New York Buff 23. So, um, and uh, <laughs> he pointed her to this while she was cleaning her fridge. Just if you were wondering if Jana One Trick, maybe she's got more than one trick or maybe cleaning the fridge is her only trick. I'm not really sure. So uh, here we go. Let's check out what Connie Thien had to say. And we'll, of course, first play the question for you guys. Thanks, Connie. Another question for you. Do you know if FedNow would use digital assets to settle payments with XRP? So kind of back to the settlement question, um, FedNow transactions will settle to Federal Reserve master accounts in U.S. dollars. Um, so at, at this time, uh, there isn't a, a contemplation of using other types of currencies. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That's the entire statement. That's the question. That was an official webinar by the Federal Reserve. So this is not just some kind of offhand interview. This is the Federal Reserve speaking on behalf of the Federal Reserve. So right now, the plan is U.S. dollars. Now, let's try to look at some positives here. If you're in the XRP community, you know, you have plenty of other things going on. You have the MoneyGram partnership, which I think they just came out with some kind of debit card for MoneyGram, which could be absolutely huge uh, for MoneyGram and then therefore impacting the, you know, XRP, XRapid, how they're working together. But, you know, here's the thing, guys. If the price of Bitcoin goes way up, like let's say we get this bull run over the next year, everybody's thinking we're going to get the price of Bitcoin goes up to six figures, hits a hundred thousand, hits fifty thousand dollars, whatever the price may be, three hundred thousand dollars. All of a sudden, the world is once again going to be transfixed on cryptocurrencies. So, one of the key things she said here is at this time, there isn't a contemplation, however, that does leave the door open for the plan to change in the future. And the great news is you got three years. So if you're in the XRP community and you want this to happen, there is still a chance it could happen, but there's also a chance that they could use another cryptocurrency or that they make their own cryptocurrency, which a lot of countries are trying to create their own blockchain. So there are some other things that can happen here, but right now it is not in the plans. It is not in the cards. Now, XRP community, I know you guys have, uh, sometimes you have a bit of an echo chamber going on in there. And sometimes you take bad news and you take it, you spin it to make it incredible news. This is not incredible news for Ripple. It, this is not the US government trying to hide their plans on working with XRP. If that's what you got out of this statement, then you're really looking for the wrong thing here. I would be looking more at the other partnerships that XRP has and just kind of leave this idea alone for now, unless you get some legitimate news that seems to point to that. I know there was a comment here on this video, on the Jana One Trick video. It said, uh, Clapperm, I don't know what that means. I hope it's not an STD. Uh, she sounds like she almost nervously, nervous laughs slightly toward the end of the sentence. I've listened a million times. I guess you just hear what you want to hear. I didn't hear anything that seemed to indicate that she wasn't very confident in what she was saying. And she wasn't just talking about XRP. She was talking about all digital currencies and really any other currency in general. So definitely something in my mind that is not great news for XRP. And in, in, in the larger grand scheme of things, not that great for cryptocurrency that it seems like cryptocurrency right now is an after, afterthought to the Federal Reserve. But yet... It's enough on their radar that when she was asked specifically about XRP, that she knew how to answer that question. So that means that it is something that they have at least thought about, but to this point, they're not yet taking cryptocurrency seriously, and that is probably going to be a huge mistake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, Bitboy out.